Hi, I'm Rob Glick, and I want to talk to you about why wait or why add weights. Now, one of the things that's so funny about training with the GTS is I cannot tell you how many times I've had people come up to me and go, where's the weight? And I look at them and say, you are the weight, but it's still kind of hard for them to comprehend because they are so conditioned to believe that to condition their body, they need to add external load. They need to add weights. The funny thing is that in the club that I teach at, until I added weights onto the GTS, a lot of the trainers weren't interested. As soon as I added weights, they came over, started looking at it, go, oh, what's this? Is that a hack squat? What is it? And started getting interested and in learning about what a great piece of equipment the GTS is, with or without weight. We all know that. You guys have already really utilized, I'm sure, a lot just how wonderful the GTS is. But here's the thing. There's times when you are going to want to add some additional load. Obviously, for the legs, a lot of people could take more than their body weight on level eight. So you could put that weight bar on and add plenty of weight and go ahead and go through some of your traditional bilateral squats or unilateral squats with load really start to get significant. And this can really start to turn more into a strength workout with a lot of power if you want. But that's just part of it. You know, a lot of times people think, well, gosh, I'm going to keep taking my client and moving them up once they've reached level eight and are able to execute how many of a reps you're doing for how many a number of sets with great quality, then I need to start adding weight. But let me tell you other times when I think adding weight is a good option. There are times that I have found that I like to do different exercises on lower levels. Maybe I'll have it all the way down on level three, for example. And instead of increasing the incline, I want to work with less incline but more resistance. So a place I really like to do it is with torso rotations. I might come in, anchor down, and get into a kneeling torso rotation position. Now my client or my class could handle a higher angle or more intensity, so we could move the angle up, we can lengthen the lever, we can do a lot of different tricks, right, to create more challenge, or we could add weight but stay at the lower level so that, that way maybe they feel more comfortable on this angle but want more intensity. So the point is, sometimes we add weight for absolute intensity because we've maxed out, but other times, keep in mind, you can add weight so that you have more intensity without less of an angle. Whichever way gets you exactly what you want to do to get the right exercise at the right intensity for yourself or for your clients. That's why I use weight.